And the James Charles drama continues. James Charles is once again facing criticism. This time it's from drag queens Spice and Carmelita Fox, who recently shared their experiences with him. Over the past few years, numerous young men have come forward accusing Charles of sending them inappropriate messages while they were underage. Some even claimed that he asked for inappropriate photos and insisted he could change their sex orientation. These allegations first surfaced in 2019 and then again in 2021. In response, Charles issued a public apology, which went something like this. There's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a gr and I want to address it right away. The accusation that I have gr person is completely false. Last week I came across someone on my Instagram explore page, saw he followed me and added him on Snapchat. The next morning I woke up to several snaps from this person being excited I added him back, saying he loved me, and also lewd photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away and he told me he was 18 so I started flirting back. In the excitement of meeting someone I thought could be potentially great, I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear based in the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and had an ulterior motive from the beginning. Later in the day, he said a few things that made me question the validity of his original age answer and when I asked him to confirm his age once again, he admitted he was 16. I told him I was really uncomfortable and apologised for flirting, but he insisted on continuing talking, saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. I told him I wasn't okay with this, he started getting upset and at this point, I unfriended him. We haven't spoken since. I'm not victim blaming him or victimizing myself either, simply sharing what happened. And what happened was not okay. After false allegations like this in the past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I now will ask to see the ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. James had even admitted at one point in a podcast interview to inviting high schoolers to LA and paying for their flights. I talk to guys that live in different states and stuff and I'm like, hey, like, why don't you come visit? Like, well, I can't afford a plane ticket. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, I can. So yeah. like, get nice. on the plane. And like, well, I just don't really feel comfortable with that. But like, I love you and I really want to be together. And I'm like, well, we can't be together because you can't afford a plane ticket. You're probably still in either high school or college, like a senior in high school or in college. Right. So like, either you accept the flight and realize that like, this is what I'm bringing to the relationship so we can spend time together if you actually care about me. Yeah or we literally never meet because you can't afford it. Despite the allegations, Charles continued making social media content. However, he took a break from the public eye after more than 20 accusers came forward within the span of two years. The spotlight returned to Charles when he spoke to Cosmopolitan earlier this year in a massive interview. And within the interview, he was trying to launch his new makeup brand, Painted. In this interview, he confirmed that his own brother had cut all ties with him for two years, highlighting the severe of the situation. We all know he only did that interview to drive attention to his new brand because he needs all the positive PR he can get. Drag Queen, Spice and Carmelita, known for their paparazzi style videos, shared their encounter with Charles in a recent TikTok video. They initially planned a collaboration with him but pulled out after learning about the allegations apparently. They expressed disappointment in his behaviour and called him out for his egoism. Hey, Spice, why did you and Charles follow you and Sugar on Instagram? Isn't that hilarious that he have followed us when in actuality it should have been the other way around like me and sugar should have followed his ass when we found out that he was still texting to me Lord Melita, what are your thoughts on Jeffree Star weighing in on the whole James Charles scandal as he should he wasn't saying anything I didn't agree with these really? predators hide in plain sight what makes you say that the long nails the BBO it told me all I needed to know wow oh. give me a bug's life Oh, not a bug's life. So you pulled out of the James Charles Club the night before? Yes, we were gonna do it. Don't ask why. We were so ignorant to what was going on. Basically, everything resurfaced. It all came out again. His brother apparently isn't talking to him for two years, so that says it all. Fans were like, why are you only mad now that he's unfollowed you? Where was this energy when he'd initially been cancelled? Surely you must have known what he was cancelled for. And I actually did oh, my research, 
and it's really dark and ugly. And honestly, I would have given him the benefit of the doubt if he was actually a nice person when we met him at his house. He couldn't even give us a time of day. I mean, we literally had to talk to him through his assistant. He didn't make Did, eye contact? No, he didn't. Maybe once at the very end. He couldn't have a conversation unless it was about himself. Literally everything everyone says about him is true. Like, he's just not a good person. Oh, well... Yeah. Um, Did I go in? You could see that. <laughs> Was it too much? Yeah. You could see that. Oh, you said we could see. We, we could, could see. see. Would you ever do a video of James Uh, you know, we were like, maybe we'll do charity work and rehabilitate his image. But then we thought about it again and we were like, oh yeah, no. Despite the controversy, Charles has attempted to rehabilitate his image through collaborations. However, his association with other influencers like Kayla Mallett faced criticism, with people questioning their decision to work with him despite the allegations. Many on social media have expressed such disappointment in Spice and Carmelita's choice to only now speak out, suggesting they were more upset about Charles's rudeness and the fact that he unfollowed them than they were concerned about his problematic actions that he's been exposed for multiple times. In the comments people said, I don't support James Charles but it's kind of strange how you're just now calling him out but before you never said a word about his actions. Right? They shouldn't have made this vid and then they'd be in the clear basically. Like Spice just outed them. Right? It's like they're only calling it out as get back. They didn't know and it's better to call him out late than to not call him out at all. Charles has defended himself multiple times in the past and has said that everyone makes mistakes and that he deserves a chance to grow. He's attempted to downplay a lot of the interactions that he's had, claiming that everything was pretty much taken out of context. But we know the truth. The numerous allegations against him have severely impacted his reputation. As Charles focuses on his new makeup brand, his public image remains tarnished. Some of his fans are divided on whether he deserves a chance to redeem himself or if his actions have permanently destroyed his career. The future of his career remains uncertain and public opinions continue to to shape his image. For those who are still defending or supporting James, I'd like to give you a bit of a snippet into the past. He was just one of the many, many, many minors who spoke out against James and exposed him. This person was also scolded by James's fans at the time for speaking out. So last Wednesday on the 17th, uh, James Charles snapped me on Snapchat. He added me back because I had snapped him a while ago, just like a fan to influence your conversation. I was excited because he's my biggest influence influencer wise and he i've always looked up to him so i was excited to get his message back i don't have a lot of time so i'm gonna post proof of it right now this is the notification that i got when he snapchatted me first and just for further proof he deleted the chat i don't know what he deleted but that's me opening his snapchat i went into the bathroom and i guess he saw the bathroom light so he started making the conversation very sexual and it made me really uncomfortable and I'll post some of the stuff that he sent me now. You can't see it because it's blurry because I took it on my iPad because I don't want him to see that I screenshotted it, but I'll post it right now. He proceeded to send me explicit pictures of his body. More. So this is part two of the James Charles story. So after sending me that first picture of his body um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why. And this is what he said. It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So what are your thoughts on all this? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more tea updates.